to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at this Youngin's Meister Pilot Watch in Blue. This one is simply awesome. I like it so much, I may be purchasing one of these for myself. That's how much I like this piece. This piece goes for $22.60. It's available right now at easyfindtime.com. It is in stock now. And this one is just simply uh, different. Um, and, and I'll show you what makes it different to me. First of all, it's a Swiss movement in here, um, but it's a German-made watch. If you look down there at the 6 o'clock indice, and I'll zoom in on that, made in Germany. That's pretty cool. These German watches are no longer approaching the quality of the Swiss. They are equal to Swiss-made watches, in my humble opinion. And a lot of ways, they're better. And I like these unique designs on, on some of these uh, companies. And this company's been around for a very long time making pilot watches. And I just really like um, the different styles, you know. Okay, let's start from the top. Let's start with this scallop bezel. This is different, sort of Omega type-ish, a little bit, kind of Seamaster, but the bezel is so thin, giving that dial a much, much bigger appearance, as if the bezel was bigger, the dial would appear smaller. Now, this is a friction fit bezel, and it's real, really tightly friction fit, but it does have a loomed pip right here and it's fully graduated it's not a dive watch but it has a dive style uh timing bezel i think that's really cool now this one has these beautiful uh cathedral slash syringe style hands i really like that i like how the hands reach all the way out and they curve to the dial that dial is actually curved under there curves towards the edge uh, sort of like a pop hand dial and then the seconds hand is in red at the sub dial that's really different another thing I like is the date wheel with the arrow pointer for the date that arrow is very important because that arrow is the only place you should be looking for the date now it says 15 13 on that date that's because every even number is just a red slash and the odd numbers are numbered so if it's in the middle of 13 and 15 you guessed it it's the 14th now I'm gonna pull the crown out one and advance it you see it's 15 then the slash 17 slash 19 slash 21 slash so every even number is just a red slash and of course it's easy to read because you know it's the date between the two numbers so that would be the 22nd showing now the printing on this dial this fume beautiful dial is um excellent youngins over here at nine o'clock is in script and automatic is in um is uh just printed out normally and look at that beautiful finish on that dial now you have at the nine and three o'clock indices those red little hashes that ties in with this strap black and blue strap black on the outside really really nicely done i, I have to give it to these guys 22 millimeter strap and I'll do some quick measurements on here. This is a pilot watch, so pilot watches are generally a little bit bigger, but this one fits really nice. 43 millimeter case. The thickness is only 12.4. And then the lug to lug is going to be just about 50 even, just under 50. And you see the strap pull straight down. This is a really nice, high quality strap too, by the way. And you get a pin buckle and it has the logo there too see that star is kind of like an explosion exploding bomb it's also on the crown see that excellently no crown 
uh, push pull 100 meters of water resistance on this one. Um, Anti-reflective coating on both sides of this um, crystal. Both sides, you get anti-reflective coating on there. Um, so that's pretty good too. Now, this watch is equipped with the Youngins 880, which is a Valju 7750 modi modified by Youngins. 38 to 40 hours of power reserve. Really, really accurate. I do not believe this one is sunk in for chronometer uh, rating, but this is running about two seconds a day fast when I put it on the time grapher. And this watch is simply fantastic. Now, I'll put it on my wrist and show you what it looks like. My wrist is 7.25 inches. That's a very common average uh, size wrist is 7.25 inches. That's what it looks like on my wrist. And this is thin for a Valju based movement. Looks really good. I like that Fume dial. And like I said before, it's equipped with Super Luminova. That's going to be the coup de grace because this is very, very powerful loom. And I suspect that this is going to last all night because youngins have layered this loom on thick. And that's always a good thing. That's your transitioning loom. You see it's strong. It's almost washing the camera out. Really, really nice loom. Fully graduated uh, second track. And that's your nighttime shot. This one's going to last all night, so when you roll over, you will see this just a little bit more faint. But when your eyes adjust, you'll be able to see this one all night, like you should on a pilot white watch. And what I really like about this watch is just at a glance, you can instantly tell what time it is because it's a pilot watch and it's extremely legible. This one's a 10 out of 10. I like it. I like the movement. I like the setup. Different with the sub dial seconds hand and the, the date wheel uh, under the 12 o'clock. They set this one up perfect. I really, really like the flavor of this one. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this one. My name is Biggie. God bless. Please subscribe. And as usual, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.